Hello everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome and Merry Christmas. If you can hear me, please let me know. Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. If you can hear me or see me, please let me know. I think I'm already live. Love you all. Thank you, Al Nuaini four 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 four. Oh my God, that's a master angel number. And Imad, hello, Lara, miss you so much. Wasi, welcome everybody. I want to say sorry if I'm unable to read names during the session. I do apologize, but I will try my level best. First of all, in the name of Almighty God, our God of the universe, God of consciousness, our beautiful Almighty God that created heaven and earth, all of us and the angels, angels of enlightenment. Gratitude is our journey. Gratitude is our middle name. Gratitude is what makes me go on to share with you all I know from my heart to your heart directly. I wish you a beautiful Merry Christmas. I know tomorrow everybody will be busy. So I felt the need and I felt the calling to go live tonight and share with you a happy Merry Christmas. And I wish by next time, next year, by this time, next year, there are no wars in the world, no hatred, no nothing except love and kindness and peace and children all over the world having a proper education, having support, having the love of their parents and the support of their community, society, school. I wish every woman in the world love and kindness and her partner to listen to her. I wish every woman the peace, the joy that she deserves. And I wish every man the empowerment that God created the men all over the world to support, protect, and secure the beautiful woman so that together can reach enlightenment, a spiritual awakening, a spiritual liberation. So I want to wish you all Merry Christmas, everybody. Tonight, I want to share with you from my heart what are us as in spiritual awakening, angels of enlightenment, earth angels, and everything to do with the angelic realm, yes. And you are all earth angels. We are all earth angels. And before I go further, I need you kindly. If you have any question, by the way, during the session, feel free to ask. That is the core foundation of me going live every time that I do promise you I will always go live from now on. Or you can reach out to me. My number is in all my posts and I will be happy to share with you the answer. As for tonight, gratitude again to Almighty God. And I need you to know philosophy is the core of life. Philosophy is the foundation of life. Philosophy has logic, rational, awakening, a knowing, a being, a feeling. In every common sense, there is philosophy if we only listen. Like the beautiful philosopher. By the way, I have my notes on me. I wrote some notes so that I don't forget. Like the beautiful philosopher Plato once quoted that every heart in the universe, every heart in the universe sings. But our heart song is incomplete till the other heart whispers back. Beautiful Socrates, 
mentioned once or quoted. Wisdom is knowing that we know nothing. Seeking knowledge is wisdom and ignorance is evil. We are to be humble that we know nothing and every day we seek knowledge and ignorant is the evil path by ignoring what's going on around us in terms of animal abuse or planet abuse or 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 see what philosophy does to me and to all of us if you only embrace philosophy Aristotle once quoted bravery the most powerful bravery is winning over our desires self mastery knowing and realizing that we are victors we are not victims we are victors because almighty god always closes doors and he allows them to close only for a better happier stronger door if we only walk through with light and seek the light hello mishra hello daniela hello everybody welcome welcome again and last but not least socrates i mentioned socrates and plato mentioned also that children are some way somehow when we are children we are afraid of the darkness but how can we as adults be afraid of the light see the philosophy the logic the common sense that is why philosophy is the core foundation of all of us existing and coexisting together individually and collectively reaching to our inner child changing loving one person at a time one day at a time one country at a time till we shift our paradigm shift our own limitations and realize our beliefs are to change with our willingness to move forward and with the angelic realm and the angels of enlightenment again if anybody has a question feel free and if i didn't pay attention reach out through my email or my whatsapp number hello zain hello chris hello everybody again arc angels beautiful arc angels in greek or latin arc means chief and hello means messenger or angel arc angels are chief angels like what i'm seeing here again 4444 that's a sign and angels by the way do send us messages through numbers feathers human beings and earth angels and we all are earth angels enlightenment is to be enlightened to have a spiritual awakening to aim to reach nirvana that is a beautiful world of enlightenment seeking the light living in a happy place of gratitude and the most important part for me the very most important part and i need you to know that very well and let it resonate in your heart angels archangels and the angelic realm are always sent by god god almighty created the angels and he dispatched them to look after us to protect us to show us the way to the light and that is what i mean by spiritual awakening and for those of you who don't know me allow me to introduce myself My name is Shamuel of Light. I am an earth light worker seeking the light by offering myself as a vessel conduit of love and light. I do help people get over their traumas, their insecurities, sadness, depression, which we all have and we accept them including myself. I'm not different than you. And how I do that by raising their vibrational frequency to the same vibrational frequency of the universe 
the angels, the consciousness, yes, raising the vibrational frequency to be on the same frequency of the angelic realm, the consciousness, the light, the kindness of Almighty God. And how I do that? With so many tools and energy modalities, abundance of energy modalities like Reiki, angelic Reiki, meditation, crystals, and the recent course that I did, Angel Intuitive Six Sensory Persona, that is developing yourself to become an Earth Angel, Six Sensory Persona, also sound healing with the Tibetan singing bowls and the gong. Back to our subject today. I did mention I have some notes with me not to lose track on life, so if needed, I will refer back to them. So, Angels of Enlightenment. Hello, Jensen. Hello, LED screens, Mr. Rathod. Hello, everybody. Again, Al Nuaimi 4444. Hello, hello, hello. Angels are sent by Almighty God to help us, to protect us, to show us the way to love and light and forgiveness. They are celestial beings. They vibrate on a higher frequency and they do communicate with us, as I mentioned, with numbers, with coins, with feathers, with dreams that we dream sometimes and we know in our heart. If we listen, if we tune in, that is an angel talking to us or sending some very vital paramount knowledge to us. If we tune in and listen, like I always mentioned, the heart and the mind coherence, when they are in unison, that is alignment, aligning ourselves to our life purpose. Who are we? What is our life purpose? How are we with spiritual awakening? And angels, hello again. And angels, there are two types, for example, in safety, they communicate with us in two times. As I mentioned, in safety, they listen to God, they obey Almighty God, and they always report to Almighty God, like Angel Michael, Angel Gabriel. Angel Michael is one of the archangels, the chief president angel that looks after us and helps all of us around earth to have self-confidence, to cut the cords of any low frequency vibration that don't belong to us anymore. And Angel Gabriel is the angel of peace and good news and the angels of children. And he always, always appears to both children and adults. Hello, Sarah, my niece. Hello, Felicity Finance. Oh my God, this is the corp corporate world. Hello again. Hello, everybody. Uh, when the corporate world or financial corporate world or companies watch that means a spiritual awakening, 100%. That means there is a shift in the world for all of us to go back to our core of heart and forgiveness. So, I did mention that one of the ways they communicate the angels with us is safety. They look after us in our safety. And how many times, you know in your heart, that hello Maria, hello, hello. How many times in your heart you know very well that you avoided an accident and it was a miracle that you are saved from the accident. Or we have seen documentaries of people that died, physically died, and they were announced dead by the medical team. And some way, somehow, when they went to heaven, they saw the light and a beautiful light and that light told them clearly, it is not time for you to go. You are to come back to earth. 
and they come back to earth with a spiritual awakening of their life purpose, of their alignment, and they pass the message. And you probably wonder why my name is Shamuel of Light for those of you who don't know me. Way back as a child, my grandmother, from my mother's side, she was a light worker herself, and she used to take me to the wild, to the forest, and she picks up vegetables and herbs. And she always told me, beware of the angels, beware of the beautiful angels, and always have respect and adoration and acknowledgement to Almighty God in all what you do. She is in heaven now. My mom is still alive and she took over in showing me the light by being an example. Hello, Mario. Hello, hello. Even my dad is in heaven now. So this post is a gift for him. So as I grew up, I started seeing dreams about angels, things that are so personal that I can't mention on social media. I would see dreams, if you will, some minor visions that I knew by the age of 17 or 16 that my life purpose revolves and evolves around angelic realm and to live like an angel, to think like an angel, to behave like an angel even if I do mistakes. Hello Olive, hello Irina, hello King. So all of us are to learn and live like angels. So respect for Archangel Shamuel, which one of his names, by the way, if you Google Angel Shamuel, the angel of love and light, one of his names is Kamael, like my name. As I mentioned, things like are very up close and personal, but for transparency, I will share with you a dream. I had it two weeks ago. I saw myself in the seventh dimension in a beautiful place and I saw a beautiful retreat place that's in the dream, all right? And God is my witness for every word I'm mentioning. I initially didn't want to share this dream with anybody except my close friends, but due to transparency and due to angels of enlightenment, I'm sharing it with you in the dream. I was going on a retreat to do what I do. That is angelic realm in heaven, by the way. That was the dream. What I do is modalities of energy. As I mentioned, meditation, Reiki. I was going on a retreat in the dream. When the door opened, it was on the clouds, on the white clouds, I promise you. When the door opened, there was two girls in their late 20s. And they were so much like beings of light. And I said, all right, show me where is my work. I came here to work. They took my hands and they took me to a girl, another third girl, laying down, sleeping like an angel. And I said, I am here to do my work of energy. That is meditation. That is a retreat. That is cooking healthy food, which I do in life. And the two girls told me again in the dream, we need you to pray over this girl. The girl was sleeping and she was physically and mentally and emotionally and spiritually tired in the dream. And in the dream, I started praying for her. All what I remember, I was praying and gratitude to Almighty God and something about me, I am aware of my dreams. When I dream, a lot of times I'm aware. If it's not a happy dream, I ask the angels and I ask Mama Mary and Mama Mary to wake me up in the dream and she always does. And in the dream, when my work has finished, that is, I prayed over the girl, I told the two girls who got me in the retreat in heaven, I said, I want to stay with you. I don't want to go back to earth. Again, God is my witness of every word that I said. That's in the beginning of this December 2021. I said, I want to stay. The place is so nice over here. And they both smiled at me in the dream.
and they said, no, you cannot stay here, Shamuel. They even named me, called me as Shamuel. I said, I want to stay. They said, no, you cannot stay. You have to go back to earth and carry on your work. You are needed there. When I woke up, the dream was so vivid that I knew in my heart over this Christmas, we are to join our heart and know we are earth angels. We all have a mission in life. So I did mention the safety part that they look after safety. Now, if you want to attract angels, a lot of people ask me, if I'm quick, by the way, please let me know, because live and me, I'm getting used to it to go live, and I will go live, I promise, almost every week. Okay, you said I am too quick, so I will slow down. Thank you, Al Noaimi. Thank you. I love that. Please write your comments, and if I'm able to watch, I will read it. So I will slow down. To invite the angels into your life. Angels do not like hatred, envy, jealousy. Remember, a lot of people around the world, they will acknowledge the angels, but they do not acknowledge that angels... Oh, it's a pleasure, a pleasure, pleasure, al Noaimi. 4444, again, angel mastery number. That is meaning that you are on your life purpose. You are finding your alignment, by the way. You are very well aware of divine consciousness. And it's not a coincidence at all. We are on this life together. So, some people around the world do not acknowledge that angels belong to Almighty God. So, if you want to attract angels in your daily life, and I am so serious about it. Hello, Amen. You are to be kind. Angels do not like jealousy. Hello, Valentina. Angels do not like hatred, envy, jealousy. And these are low frequency vibration. It is okay. It is very okay if at a stage of our life we feel those feelings. What is not okay or acceptable at all, as in at all, if you want to get close to the angels and, sorry, and we keep the envy, the hatred, and the ego of some humanity around the world, again, no judgment, but if you are to invite angels into your life, you are to make an altar. Most probably when I go live next or one of the lives, I will show you how an altar looks like. Please remind me. An altar is where you pray your daily life and you go on your knees and thank God again and the angels and all these beautiful prophets that God sent to look after us once upon a time. So, you are to make yourself a vessel of forgiveness and love and light and kindness. And this is the vibrational frequency that attracts the angel, right? I mentioned philosophy is the core of our life. Philosophia in ancient Greek or Latin. It's the love of wisdom, love of wisdom. With wisdom, there is a common sense, a rationalism, an acceptance, if you will. So, our thoughts become our feelings. Our feelings become our pattern and behavior, and our patterns make us a personality that is a person living in a reality that they made. Hello, hello Mimi, how are you? I miss you so much. I really miss you. Mimi is a good friend of mine, by the way. You within you. Anyways, what I was saying, see why I wrote some notes to that, refer back to them if I need them. Hello, Ru. Hello, Rahat. Hello, Valentina again. So, our first seven years of our life, now that's the logic, the psychology, and the common sense behind it. Our first seven years in our life, 
dictate how we think and how we feel. Einstein, Albert Einstein, I will relate back to the angels, I promise. I will relate back to the angels, but this is the science of inviting the angels into your life. What I'm saying now is the science and the logic for inviting the angels to be with you every day, including your own guardian angel. Albert Einstein quoted, if you are to understand the universe, you are to think vibration, frequency, and energy. I will repeat that. Albert Einstein once mentioned, if you are to understand the universe, be oneness with the universe, you are to think vibration, frequency, energy. We are energy and there is nothing but energy. The universe talks the language of frequency, vibration, everything vibrates energetically and we have a frequency. That is why I always say raise your vibrational frequency. Angels vibrate at a higher celestial energy frequency vibration. So if you are to invite angels into your life, forgiveness of self before forgiving others. Hello, Lucilia. Accepting yourself before accepting others, being proud of who you are and never ever. I normally don't use negative words because I don't like them. Never ever blame yourself for something that is meant to happen. When we do make mistakes, we say sorry. Guilt is a horrible feeling that doesn't allow us to move forward. So if we are to invite angels into our daily life, we are to raise our vibrational frequency, to seek enlightenment, seeking the world of light, nirvana, in a beautiful higher place, higher than the third dimension. That higher, hello there. Hello, Vialos. I hope I said it right. Abhina. So, third dimension. The angelic realm is way, way, way high. So we are to raise our vibration with what we think, what we feel becomes a pattern. Our pattern becomes a personality. Our personality is a person in a reality we co-create. We co-create, sorry. My reality is you. I love you so, so much. It is so much love that I feel so much happiness when I know I'm going live, that every post, even if it's not live, I work so hard from my heart to share with you in few minutes what I learn about life. So we raise our vibrational frequency, love, light, kindness, and that frequency allows us to attune, attunement that is like the antenna that goes to the universe and attracts the angels. And believe me, angels love all of us. That's why I share with you, they are angels of enlightenment, to be enlightened, to be awake, to be oneness with the universe looking at the time. Right, so that's how we attract the angels. And that is how all of us are earth angels. And I will explain why all of us are earth angels. Again, if I'm speedy, tell me to slow down, but I'm aware of it. You notice in my post, if you've read all my posts since day one, the text, always hello fairy the text that i do i always start with hello earth angels hello earth angels since day one i do that intentional i call it my three eyes and that's a gift for beautiful mimi and everybody i call it my three eyes intention 
intuition initiation our intention is to live a happy peaceful life and to attract angels and angelic realm that was my intention for this session for this life i had a dream of enlightenment by the way I, it doesn't mean i am already enlightened that will be ego that will be so egoistic i am seeking enlightenment i am reaching out for enlightenment i am clearing my aura on a daily level my magnetic field my chakras energy meridians with prayers meditations intention comes to intuition what is the intuition says go within yourself your third eye is over here and that is how you are to listen with the angels feel the angels feel their vibrational frequency a lot of times by the way you are going down the stairs of a building and if you see a light suddenly flickers rest assured i will say it down very slowly if you going down in a building somewhere and you see the light in the ceiling flickering rest assured that that is an angel trying to pass a message to you on that day you could be happy you could be sad you could be depressed you could be going through something in your heart always and always again to heaven and say thank you god for the angels when you mention the name of god in the name of god and that's one of the very most important tools or path or being to attract the angels when you say in the name of god almighty only and only angels will come close to you i will repeat that when we say in the name of god thank you for the angelic realm that is the only way the angels will come and if it's not an angel if it's not a happy energy a negative energy the dark side cannot stand light it will leave immediately so when i mentioned the angels talk to us through dreams sometimes we find a coin we find a feather we feel air a blowing of air but you look around and there is no air around not even a single fresh air no and rest assured this is an angel last week again something in my building happened that i wasn't happy about the earth life we have an earth life right so i'm going up the stairs and down a little bit stressed i'm human remember and i make mistakes it's my earth life your earth life we are to live and it's our birth right our birth right to seek abundance abundance of thoughts behaviors living our life we need clothing we need shelter we need our earth life to be grounded back to grounding later so as i'm going down the stairs the light started to flicker i looked around and i knew it's an angel i knew very well it's an angel in my heart i felt so happy i was very stressed very extremely stressed it was not a happy situation and i smiled and i went back to my resonance my life purpose and i said almighty god thank you for today thank you for my eyes thank you for my hands thank you for my heart thank you for my legs thank you for everybody out there and for my life purpose to be a conduit of love and light i smiled i went back to my heart connected to my third eye and i vocally said my words loud because i was going down the steps right so i vocalized and that's a very tool and method to attract the angels i said thank you my beautiful angel for being here i am aware you are my guarding angel my guardian angel i know something nice will happen today i know something very nice i will get to share it with the world 
because I set my intention, I went within my intuition, I listened to the angelic vibrational frequency, the situation I was able to mitigate the situation, the earth life, that's intention, intuition, initiation. Instead of reacting to the situation, I calmed down and I breathed in and I responded. I did not react because if I reacted, it would have been anger and it's okay to be angry, but because I knew I belong to the light, that's not an escape reality pattern, by the way. Hello, Leo. That's not an escape reality pattern at all. But I knew I can mitigate this and I have the guardian angels. The situation was solved. All is well. And I went back to my earth life. So I initiated why I'm saying so. All of that. Three eyes. Intention. Intuition. Initiation. How do you initiate that path? that decision, that walking in life. So you all are earth angels. We are all sent by God on this earth to seek love and light and kindness and to spread love and light and kindness. You can say a word to your loved ones, to your family, to your friends, even to strangers, and you will shift their world to a happy place. And who are the earth angels? All of us. They are normally very sensitive, can be fragile. By the way, there are earth angels sent by heaven. Hello, Rohan. Hello, NZ. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Reyes again. So, earth angels, when we are children, we are all born as earth angels. Listen to that children. There are so many children out there. They know in their heart, they know very well that heaven sent them to earth. And by the way, heaven, heavenly beings, angelic beings, heaven, divine consciousness in heaven, always and always channels us, attunes us with a happy divine consciousness energy. I will say that again. The divine consciousness, <coughs> heaven, the angelic realm, the divine beings of light and the universe always channels down to us happy energy, healing energy, enlightenment, and very happy frequency. And Mother Earth, our beautiful Mother Earth, always sends us prana energy. That's why there is something called prana energy chi and that energy needs a being needs a body needs a heart needs a soul to resonate inside so some children are sent to earth as earth angels sadly around the world people don't know that so they start giving the children medicine and they numb them with psychology and psychiatry. And by the way, I'm not saying that psychology or psychiatry is wrong, but we need that. We need that a lot of times. But when it comes to earth angels, when children around you behave in a different way, they are passing a message. Do not numb them. Do not change them. Do not lower their vibrational frequency. Pray to those children and listen to them. If you're a mother or a dad, always, hello, hardworking. Hello, Sharif. Komodo, hello. Hello, Rohan again. So if that children are next to you in your family, listen to them, observe, ask them, what do they see? What do they feel? What do they hear? What do they smell? Because I promise you, those children are sent from heaven and they are to grow up as earth angels. Why I'm saying all that? Those children are, hello, Ayoga, Shani. Those children are sent as earth angels to us. And when they grow up, we have a choice to carry on being as earth angels. We do have a choice. I always say that. So do not numb the children. Ask them again. 
What do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear? What do you smell? These are the signs of intuition. Third eye, oneness with the universe, listening to the messages and the frequency which are beyond us human beings. This is what I call earth angels. It's something we develop to invite the angels or something we are born with. The earth angels who are born to be a conduit of love and light are fragile, sensitive, they go through a lot of physical pain, empathy and sympathy, and in all our human being, we have a physical body, a mental body, emotional body, higher self, inner self, inner child, the list goes on and on with our aura and our chakras and the magnetic field. So earth angels are very sensitive beings and they do suffer pain, physical pain and emotional pain and they do heal by healing others. I repeat that earth angels, they do heal by helping others to heal. These are all of us the earth angels. That's why on this beautiful Christmas, I ask everybody to go back to the angelic realm and behave and think and be like an angel with an earth body that you are to be grounded and earth and rooted. So I did mention what are the angels, what are the archangels, why I share with you it's angels of enlightenment and what are we as earth angels and how we look after the planet. One of the ways, by the way, one of the ways to invite angels, angels love nature, right? That's a reality. Angels love nature. Hello, Hamad. Hello, Stroik. Hello, Capacity World again. So, angels do love the animals and the jungle and the forest. If you want to invite angels into your life, you are to feed animals, look after animals, be one with the animals and the planet. Looking at the time. Oh my God, almost the time. Time goes quick. Maybe I will need to, need to do another live. Anyways, so now I will share with you the signs or the beliefs that someone around you, including yourself, is going through stages of enlightenment. Here I have to be a little quick because I've organized myself for us. So, earth angels is us. We are living as earth angels, all right? So, the signs or the path or the beliefs that we are earth angels, dreams. Always listen to your dreams, Li write them down. This can be a friend around you, by the way. That friend is for sure an earth angel. Dreams, synchronicity, when we are oneness with the universe, synchronization, oneness with the elements, the fire, earth, water, metal, and wood. Also, another sign is spirituality. When suddenly you or your friend becomes in love with spirituality, rest assured that the angels are passing you a message to follow that path of spirituality and seek enlightenment. Intuition, I mentioned that. Respecting other people's path. When you respect and accept other people's path without judgment, this is enlightenment, spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment. Also, teacher and teaching. When you have around you somebody who loves to teach energy or suddenly yourself become in love with sharing energy and spirituality, that's a sign that you are on a path of spiritual awakening and a path that the angels of enlightenment are seeking you. And remember, what we are seeking is seeking us. What we need is needing us, right? 
Another sign, service. Service is the key to invite angels and spiritual awakening. When we service out there, like I always say that Oprah Winfrey once said, service and significance lead to success. During our pain, and I do that from my heart, during my pain, I go and serve others. When I serve others, I feel so much happiness here. I feel so much joy. So when you serve others, the angels will serve you. Hello, Praveen. Hello, Wadmi. So when we service others, angels will serve us. Angels will come to us. I'm trying to be quick now. Loneliness. When someone around you is lonely, rest assured that loneliness has a message, a sign, a symptom. And if they evolve around spirituality, the angels are trying to come into their life. Also, nature and they love animals and trees. Heightened intense emotions. Nature, animals, trees. When suddenly our emotionals become so heightened, hello Lina, when our emotions become so heightened and intense, this is a spiritual awakening, right? Also, the body senses, the pain, the sensitivity, the habits, the empathy, and the creativity. Creativity is our sacral chakra, and creativity by doing what we love, and we love what we do, and that is the beauty of tapas yoga. Hello, tapas yoga. Tapas yoga is a very dear place to my heart. Tapas yoga is in Dubai. Look for tapas yoga on Google. They have a slogan, love what you do, do what you love. So these are the signs that you are on the path of spiritual awakening or the angels are knocking on your heart. When the angels, angels of enlightenment, try to seek you, these are some of the communication, angelic intervention. There is angels intervening in our life, angelic revelation, they reveal info. I'll repeat that angelic intervention they intervene in our life angelic revelation they reveal so quickly when you have dreams synchronicity shifting your paradigm spirituality intuition respecting others path teacher of spirituality and seeking teaching or having a spiritual teacher next to you and ask your heart always always that's very very important ask your heart is this spiritual teacher is meant to be for me do we have a chemistry do not just rush out there the angels will guide you and when you are in doubt ask the angels <clears throat> habits empathy and the progress the progress that you are going on the right path to listen to the angels the progress alignment of the spiritual awakening specifically specifically the angels in our life because i did mention we have to invite them in our life the signs or the process or the daily training for you and me i do that from my heart daily training these are some steps or tools. Spiritual awakening. Rough patch in life. Accepting our trauma. Accepting our insecurities. Accepting our scars. Mirror gazing. When we look at ourselves in the mirror and tell me, I love you. I'm proud of you. I will always be there for you. Facing our eyes, the window to our soul. Facing our soul is the very first sign that the angels are knocking on your heart. Right? Remember the philosopher that said, every heart sings, but it takes another heart to whisper back. Tell yourself every day, I love you. I'm proud of you. I will always be there for you. Transparent. Being transparent, when you notice your friends suddenly are transparent, 
balanced harmony soul spirit mind and body transparency this is inviting the angels and the sign you are on the right path your soul is growing soul searching together surrendering to almighty god and the universe surrender to sorry i'll drink some water excuse me for a second <clears throat> i had to have some water time is never enough for this life maybe i'll go live again so surrendering is a sign when you surrender and accept reality as is with no judgment self-love self-validation forgiveness inner child know and rest assured these are the path of alignment the path of enlightenment hello rovlin hello mauro hello devi hello liz so these are the process that you are getting close to angels i will rephrase everything slowly and maybe you will watch the post i will put it on insta and facebook so you can watch it again today was a beautiful christmas with all of us angels of enlightenment that the divine beings the angels are always reaching out and there is a way we can invite them to our daily life and we are earth angels offering ourselves as a conduit of love and light and before i wrap up you can always reach out for me i want to wish you a happy new year and merry christmas you can always reach out for me here in the uae or our beautiful uae by the way or you can reach out for me or on zoom i can meet you in person i do a lot of abundance certified courses i rephrase that in a very polite humble way certified courses of reiki angelic reiki practitioner crystals sound healing color and light therapy so many angel intuitive is another course intuition how to be intuitive also the mindfulness wellness angel meditation facilitator mindfulness wellness angel meditation facilitator with sound healing you can reach out for me send me a dm direct message on my insta my whatsapp is always always on my posts you can see me in dubai in the places i facilitate you can meet me in the studios or call me i will go direct to you if you want to have your own retreat your own meditation your own workshops and even if you don't want to be certified i do retreats for 5 hours in your own garden in your own villa where i cook for you vegetarian food for the soul i rephrase that I do 5 hours retreats or 6 or 8 hours where I cook for you myself channel the food with reiki that is a beautiful energy food for the soul and we have a 3 hours of workshop any energy workshop that you like to know you don't need to be certified or you can be certified and love you all so 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 much and know that you are beautiful you are abundant you are magnificent you are one of a kind and you are so special and there is no one like you you are special i am special all of us are humble gratitude to almighty again and no ego no ego at all as in at all like socrates so i will end up here socrates the philosopher once said ego is destroying human nature so no ego love love and light and love you all so much feel free to share the post write me your comments kindly hello alam write your comments on the i'm going to do the post after whatever you want to see and know about in the next post i'm very happy to share love you all merry christmas happy new year namaste bye